come on in. I am on my way home and decided to come on and just talk for a few minutes. Hello, hello, how are you? I really can't see who it is, I'm sorry. I am driving and so of course trying to pay attention to the road. Um, How is everyone doing today? Is that Malia? No, I can't see who it is. Oh, it's Kay. Hi, Kay. I couldn't see your picture. How's it going, sissy? I hope it is going well. I hope it is going well. My thoughts today You know, I I really am blown away, and I shouldn't be, but I'm blown away by how God speaks to me through other people. And, I mean, I know that God speaks to other people through me, and I know that that's, like, for me, pretty much a regular thing. Like, you know, whenever I'm speaking to someone or whenever I'm, whenever I'm on here, God will just use me to speak into somebody's life or use me to prophesy to them and... And I shouldn't be surprised, but I, I just, sometimes it just takes me back. It just, you know, takes me back a little bit or like, um, it surprises me because, you know, and this is kind of where I'm at at the moment. Like there's a whole bunch of people in the world and, you know, the fact that, that Holy Spirit uses people to speak to me, you know, it, it's such a blessing and it's so humbling. It, it, it's it's hard for me to explain exactly how I'm feeling, but there was a word um, that was uh, given to me by a friend of mine yesterday. And in that word, there was an explanation and it was really elaborate. It was really detailed. Um, but when I listened to the word again, God kind of gave me something in addition to what she said. And so, you know, sometimes when that happens, you know, I wonder, well, you know, so is what I'm saying right or is what she said right? And what God told me is that both of them were right. Because sometimes when God gives you a word from somebody, it can have multiple meanings. Or it can have multiple explanations, let's put it that way. And so, basically, the word that was given to me, um, it was it was a confirmation, uh, but it also was something that is going to be happening in the future. And so, when when I realized that, I was like, hmm. Well, I know that one part of it was future. Anyway, because <clears throat> it was um, about my husband, or as this person calls my person, <laughs> the person that God has for me, the one that he's preparing for me, the one that he's preparing me for him. And so I knew that that part was a future thing. And then there was another part that she said, and I knew that what God, what God real, revealed to me was that it was actually a past and present thing. And so it was kind of neat to see how God made it mean, made it mean something for the future and also for the past and the present. And so it's just really neat to see how God just turned that around for me. You know what I mean? Like, and how he made it just, it, it just, it came around full circle. Is basically the way that I can explain it. Um, that, yes, uh, my husband is coming, but it was kind of like almost saying like what was going to happen in my life prior to him coming into the picture. And the other thing was 
that I already have been in the season that um, that she was talking about and that I feel as though that season is coming to an end. <laughs> the season that I'm in at the moment. Uh, I don't know how quickly, but the fact remains that when someone gives you a prophetic word, and I've said this before, you always need to make sure that it is a confirmation of something that you already know or that God has already told you. If it's something that is for future, you put it on the back burner if it's not something that registers with you. Like if it doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Uh, you put it on the back burner and then watch God bring it to pass. And then the second part is that if it is for future and it's a confirmation of something that you already know, then, I mean, that just gives you, you know, your, then your, your faith is built because it's been spoken by someone that didn't know. If you know what I mean. Like, because just because I'm someone's friend doesn't mean they know everything that's going on with me and God because I don't share all my business with everybody. And which is why I'm being so kind of careful with how I'm saying things because there's some things that just don't need to be said. But the fact remains that, you know, when someone gives you a prophetic word, it can be f something that is like a word of knowledge. Uh, but it also can at the same time be a word for the future. And so it was kind of neat the way that that particular word was both. And how God revealed that to me after I began thinking about it. And I've been stewing on it all day. Not stewing. Stewing is the wrong word. I've been, I've been mulling it over in my mind all day. Just what the words that she used. The words that God gave her to use. And I, I just... It was amazing. It was just amazing. And so... I, I mean, what we need to be careful of is that we don't get caught up in the delivery of whatever message it is and don't nail it down to one particular uh, time period, if that makes sense. <coughs> Excuse me. And so for me, I was really excited and really happy to get that message because you know, the season that I've been in has not been easy because I am a doer. I like to do things. I like to be involved. And, you know, when, you know, when God tells you that you need to put the brakes on and you're someone who is, you know, here and there and everywhere, well, then you have to understand that you've got to take that break. You've got to take that, you know, that time of rest. You have to take what, when he tells you that you need to put the brakes on or when you need to step aside or step away, you need to do that. And only when he tells you to do that, should you do that. And so I, you know, I haven't really, ta I haven't taken a, a, a break necessarily from Periscope because I usually only come on every couple days or you know, maybe it's sometimes two days in a row and then sometimes not. Um, but the fact remains that when, you know, when God told me that it was time for me to rest, I fought a little because I'm not a really strong rester. And because of that, um, I tend to get worn out. And then when I get worn out, then I end up getting hurt because I'm putting myself in positions where I'm depleted and still trying to give. And so I had to just basically, you know, I had to basically I, still doing some things, but hey, Tarek, uh, still doing some things for God, but taking a break and resting from actual like paycheck work, if that makes sense. So like work that actually brings in a paycheck. Um, because at one point I was working the live-in position that I'm in right now. And then I was also working a full-time 40 hour a week job. And in, in that time period, I got myself so worn down that, I mean, I don't, 
I didn't lose out with God. I still loved God and still was serving him, but I just didn't have the strength to do what he was asking me to do. And so when that happened, um, he just basically, he had to pull me out of there. And he had to take me through a series of just, okay, this is time for you. You've got you've to stop. I need you to slow down. I need you to take a break from, you know, he, running here and there and doing all this stuff because the next season of your life, I'm going to need you to be at rest prior to it because it's going to be a lot. And so I just began to um, embrace that, but it was not, it was not easy. So, but anyway, so just getting back to, you know, knowing that that word was confirming the fact that the season that I'm in is the season I'm supposed to be in. And then that season will now change um, in the near future. And, uh, but it won't change until God says it changes. And so that's one thing I'm not going to pull myself out prematurely. I want to stay in the season that he has me in until he moves me forward. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys and just know that when God gives a prophetic word through somebody, you you don't need to nail it down to only one, uh, one period of time or one instance. Sometimes it can be a confirmation of, of where you're at and also a confirmation of where you're going. And so... Just a little tidbit for today. Keep that in mind. And um, I am going to bid you adieu. And I will, Lord willing, see you next time. All right. Thanks. Bye.